producer in the West Country has smashed the record for growing Britain's hottest chilies. Matt Simpson grew the super hot peppers using a form of stressing it involved uh, denying the plants water, pretending to be a predator. He even shouted at them. How hot is hot? Our reporter Nina Warhurst is at the record-breaking greenhouse in Wiltshire for us. How hot is hot? Oh, it's super hot. We'll, uh, we'll come to Katie, the super hot plant, in a minute. But uh, just having a look around, there's a whole world of chilies that I never knew about. This one's called the hot orange. You can see why. There's one here called the Bangalore Torpedo. How cool is that name? Well, maybe not cool. Um, and down here is Katie. Now, she's believed to be the hottest chilli plant in the whole of the UK. Now, we'll be meeting the man who grew her in just a second, but we thought we'd give you some comparisons of how she fares in terms of the heat compared to things you might have at home. So, if you think about a bell pepper that you might use in a salad or a stir fry, that measures in at zero Scovilles. That's the measurement scale, Scovilles. That's zero Scovilles for a bell pepper. If you think about a jalapeno or a jalapeno, if you're feeling continental, that measures in at around 5,000 Scovilles. If you think about a Naga Dorset chilli, which is considered to be very hot, Naga, you'll be pleased to know, that comes in at around 800,000 Scovilles. But Katie has double that heat. She comes in at 1.6 million Scovilles, smashing the last record by 200,000. So we're going to speak to the man who grew her. Good morning, Matt. Congratulations on smashing the British record. Well, thank you, but a, a lot of the credit belongs to a gentleman called Naga Nick who developed this. We've just grown it, and we've grown it to get as much heat out of it as we can. Naga Nick's surrounded in mystery, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. He's a wonderful character. He's developed two super hot varieties that are named after his two beautiful daughters, the Katie and the Lucy. And we're intrigued to know what makes Katie so hot. How have you done this? Well, we think that the heat is 60% genetic, 40% environmental growing conditions. So we stress the plants, we don't water them very well, we don't feed them very much, we break bits off like this, rip, and, uh, break a few leaves off, like an animal would if it was grazing on the plant, because the production of heat is a defensive mechanism against a mammal coming along and eating the fruit. So unlike their cousins, their tomatoes, which need to go through a mammal's stomach and then fall out the back, um, grow. Uh, peppers need to grow through a bird's stomach and fall out the back in case in fertilizer. So we assimilate a mammal attacking the plant and more heat is produced. Now is it true, as you're saying there, you believe the heat comes as a defense mechanism, is it true that you've been shouting at Katie and the other chillies to make them that bit more defensive, that much hotter? Uh, yes, I hold my hands up and I, I've shouted, I've done my Sergeant Major impression at them, I've picked up the plants, I've dropped the pots, I've smacked them around. Yes, I could I could get in a lot of trouble if plants had the same rights that cats have for something. Will you show us how you've shouted at Katie in the past? You horrible little chilli plant, pull yourself together! Get hot up, hot up, hot up, hot up! Well, it's worked. It's worked. Dr. Tim Woodman is from the University of Bath. Uh, Tim, there's a science behind this, isn't it? I would have thought when things get to the point where your tongue's nearly falling off, it can't possibly get any hotter. Well, How does the science work? Well, the, the, the heat from chilies comes from some molecules called capsaicin and capsaicinoids. And the absolute level of them in a chili is determining how much heat there is. The more capsaicinoids, the greater the heat. But there is a question. If you have too much there, can you really taste it and will you enjoy it? So he smashed the record. Uh, it's not recommended that you put this on your cocoa pops because it would seriously uh, damage your mouth. A little bit later on, though, I might be trying the sauce that's uh, been made from this chilli plant. Back to you. So it can actually be put in food, even though it is so hot, Katie. Nina, sorry. Katie can't be, no, Katie can't be put in food. Um, the sauce that comes from her that's diluted to the point where it's about 20%, can be put in food, but Katie herself would do your mouth some serious damage. Ouch. Unless you want to try it, Naga. No, 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 I'm fine. You, you may want to try it a little later on. Let's see how that goes, shall we? <laughs> Nina sees things, thanks. Time now, 6.56, time now to get the news travel and weather where you 